I come to this uh, next one. I would like to have a short introduction of the second pile wall. I think this piling is not only for the bow pile, the foundation pile, bridge pile. It can also be used as a retaining pile. I think the different type of water type of retaining walls. Yeah, but uh, this evening, I just touched this second pile wall. If we look at this comparison of the uh, different retaining walls, for the permanent and the water tight and the rigid less friction system are either second pile or diaphragm wall. So I will start from the second uh, second pile wall and the sec uh, the third session that I will talk about diaphragm wall. This is how this second pile wall looks like. It works as a retaining structure yeah, for basement excavation. There are different types of design for this kind of second pile wall. But most popular in the market, I would say, maybe 90% of the design is still A-type. It means every second pile is reinforced. And the primary piles, just the concrete. You can either use the big concrete or use structured concrete. Very special case, every pile reinforced. Yeah. And or use some other system to have the big primary piles or we install the, the piles with i beam instead of cages. But again, <coughs> the type, type A is most popular in the market. Since we are talking about the wall, then we, we need the guide. That's why even these piles, we, we still need the guide wall. This guide wall, we don't need so deep because all the way down we have the casing, so only need 500 millimeters with some less density of rebar. Then you prepare the guide wall. Yellow cover means primary pile. Yeah. So we start from primary, one, two, three, they will come back. We have an interlock of the piles and put in the cages to get the second pile done. Yeah. Since we are talking about this, the second pile wall, what's the typical interlock for this kind of wall structure? I think the most popular design for the pile, for the second pile, we are talking about 800, 1 meter, 1.2. I think very, very rare, hey, one case has been done in Singapore, Market Street, we are talking about 1.5, but very rare, even in other countries. Then the depths, 15, 20, or 25, or even more. Yeah. So this is a typical interlock required for this kind of second pile wall. For the second pile, we are talking about the case pile. Yeah. So for case pile, we have two different types to do this case pile. First, I think the case casing we just use it. You put it yourself with the casing drive adapter to install casing. So during the drilling process, all the section casing has been installed until the final <coughs> required depth. Then again, you, you use either VG, auxiliary winch, to install cages, you use a uh, frame, then you do the carburetor. So, <coughs> during the carburetor, you withdraw the, the casing. So for this fully cased pile, you don't need any slurry, but the borehole stabilized or protected by casing. This is a typical example. You can see this kind of job and close to the existing building to do this kind of second power wall. Casing and the tools. Yeah. And the whole process, we just use the machine itself to install the casing. When the uh, power diameter is getting bigger, like one, one meter, 1.2, the depth <coughs> 20 meter or even more, and the very difficult ground condition, then we may need the oscillator. Yeah, to help to install the casing and also to withdraw casing during the covering process. The whole process is the same, but we have the oscillator attached to the BG machine to help to install casing and withdraw the casing during the covering. So that's why here, the second case, we're talking about a fully case pile drilling with oscillator. This is a typical example of setup 
can see BG's big triangle with the shoulder uh, oscillator attached to the machine and the power supplied by the machine itself. And this is a casing, and this is a casing drive adapter to do this kind of uh, piling or fully cast pile. What's the con and construction sequence for this second pile wall? Primary pile, you look at the yellow color, normally without any reinforcement, then we close with the secondary pile, the blue color, yeah, with reinforcement, rebarkation. This showing primary pile, primary pile has been covered, then the casing cut into the primary piles, then, and also the tools, you, either you use the auger or the bucket or oh, whatever the tools require to drill the soil. Yeah. So it's cut into this, this is piles to have interlocking. I think one of the advantage of this kind of second power or uh, drilling power, you can easily to vary the value of depth according to the rock head. Yeah. The rock, sorry, never flat, always up and down. So easily to vary the, the required depth. And some piles, even in the retaining structure, we use as the loading piles or then we can according, according to the required loading or barrier capacity, we vary the pile depth. See how many meters required into the uh, layers of the rock. And also used as the retaining structure for the basement excavation. Then the design you have considered earth pressure, water pressure, yeah, and during the basement excavation, you may need the anchor or internal strut. So this kind of second pile wall, where we can use this kind of structure. This is a very old case, I think maybe already 30 years in Iraq. Yeah, so go for that. In fact, this project the original design is to use a ship pile, but <clears throat> due to this hard ground, they cannot drive in the ship pile. That's why change the design to the second power wall. And also for the basement of the office building, here is one project in, in Munich. You can see this excavation will be very deep, 25 in the, in the center part, 30 meters, and very close to the river. So it means the second power wall can really be watertight retaining structure. This is another project in Australia. <coughs> Big area excavation, second power wall, and they use the anchor. Taiwan, because of the space, we don't have space for anchor, so we use internal structure. And Cambodia, similar, strong, second power wall. In 2005, I think this is the first project in Sri Lanka, second power wall, and nowadays, it's nearly the standard retaining structure in Sri Lanka. So this is the first project, total 134 numbers of piles. 67 primary and the 67 secondary pile with rebar reinforcement. This is how they built the guide wall, they used the steam formwork. So formwork or dismantled for the next section. And here you can see it's very nice shape and the guide wall for second power wall construction. Casing is connect section by section, two meter, three meter, or five meter, by high tensile bolts. For this kind of the, the <coughs> casing pile, I think the most important in the first two sections, or I, I should say first 10 meters, yeah, or 12 meters, so, when we install this casing, no matter you are using the casing drive adapter uh, by the machine itself or oscillator, you must check the verticality yeah, in both directions, I call it X or Y. Once the casing already 10 meter or 12 meter into the ground, sorry, you can't adjust it anymore because it, it already in, in, the, in the ground, you can't bring it back. This pile nearly dry, so we use the auger to drill the soil. But once we hit the rock, then you need 
coal barrel to tackle the rock especially. Some request of the design, the second pile has to go into the, the rock half meter, one meter. This is the case. Second pile, the re design requested minimum 500 or even one meter into the rock. Then here is the rock. Can, can show to the design consultant or I is really fulfill design requirement. Yeah. So here is the rock. Then here is the excavation. They have the straw, use the steam pipe. And <coughs> very nicely. What a tight second pile. The similar structure, second pile, also used in, in German ICE, a railway, is the strout and also the anchor. How about Singapore? I think one uh, <coughs> project has been done in Singapore SPF, uh, Singapore Business Federation buildings. In the year 2013, yeah. and that question has been done last year. You can see the three big BG work over there, including one BG40, one BG36, and, and another unit also BG40. This is the same layout. In fact, most area very close to the MRT reserve zone. It means no chiseling, no vibration allowed. Yeah, very tight space surrounded by high-rise building and the multi reserve zone. Most of the piles <coughs> are primary pile, we call it soft pile, because the design strength only 10, 10 PA, and secondary pile, diameter 900 millimeter, the depth 24 meters. Yeah. In this case, the case is down to 40 meters, I will explain why later. Some areas, due to the loading designs, they use very big, Second pile, 1.8 meter in diameter. This is the soil condition. I think the softer soil for the top, six or seven meters. Then you encounter with the complete weathered seal stone. Very high SPT value, yeah. 100, <coughs> even 200. <coughs> then you go into the rock. It's fragile rock. Stress, also not high but it's this steel rock, yeah. But anyway, from I think seven or meter, the whole soil layer here, these two layers are very st stable and very hard already. This is a typical design for the most of the second pile wall in this project. Softer pile, primary pile, where 10 concrete, diameter 600. Hot pile, 900, with reinforcement, so overcut 200 each side. So this part, the primary soft pile, only work as the cutoff. All the structure alone taken by this secondary pile. Yeah, here again, you can see very nice the guide has been constructed before we start this piling work. This project for the primary soft pile <coughs> by using the CCFA method. What's the meaning of <coughs> CCFA? CCFA means case continuous flight order. BGs with two <coughs> rotary drive on the top. The top, these two rotary drive is a counter rotation when we are doing the, the drilling works. So top rotary drive connect with the auger and the lower KDK rotary drive or even you can, you can also use the BTM instead of another lower uh, <coughs> rotary drive connect with the casing. Yeah. So how we drive, how we drill the pipes. So we rotate and then push this Casing and turn the auger into the ground because of the counter rotation. So the drill the soil will follow this auger and fly upwards. Then we can reach the final depth, no matter it's 10 meters, 15 meters. Yeah. So the whole process can drill and the 
the, the whole stabilized or protected by the casing. When you reach the final depth, then you start pumping the cartridge because it's a hollow stem. So you start pumping the cartridge and you pull out a complete organ in the casing. Then you fill the hole by the cartridge. Then you discharge the soil because still a lot of soil remains in the organ in the flight. This kind of method normally if reinforcement required is post installation. But this project is soft pile, only the concrete, so no need to install the cages. And this is the first pile. You can see how close this system to the existing view. I think the distance is less than 500 millimeters. And this system, one of the advantages for the verticality, <coughs> for the alignment, you have three fixed points from the KVK and the BTM and the guide and the guide wall. So the means is provide the pile a better alignment and the verticality control. So once you drill the final depths, you can see a lot of soil already come out. Then this is the typical set setup. You have a machine with BG40. Here we have a KVK only drive. We use the BDM uh, power torque multiplier instead of the lower part of the, the rotary drive. And the CCFA means the casing and also the upflight inside. And the spoil shoot is here. Because I think we put on this the spoil shoot to try to avoid the drill material spread everywhere to hit somebody. Get somebody hurt. Air compressor during the drilling, we blow in the air, air some air to help the material trace up, uh, transport upward more smoothly, and the concrete pump to supply concrete during the withdrawal stage. For the primary piles, 12 or 30 meter deep, fully cased. Hit the rock at about nine, eight or nine meters. Net timing, including the concrete, we only need about 15 minutes. But again, for this site, the concrete supply, the logistic is very important. That's why you can see one concrete truck just finished concrete, but <coughs> move out, another concrete truck already stand by. This is the key issue to have a high production. I think in this site, our record is five hours, we can make about 200 meters. Here is another view. You can see this uh, machine so close to this uh, holding and the, to do this second pile. And this is uh, the ogre, the details, the teeth, and this is the case. Here I would like to show uh, the short movies. You can see. After you finish the, the, the pile drilling and concreting, still a lot of soil and even the rock remain inside of the casing. That's why we have to discharge. For such a tight space, again, how to remove this drilled material, soil and also the rock, it's very important to have good production on the job site. So nowadays, especially in the city area, not only the drilling, Concrete, the re remove of the spoil is also a big concern. So, less than one minute, empty all these uh, materials, then you move to the next point. <coughs> then we come to the secret piles. Secret piles, this is, I call it two-phase system. In fact, it's com combined with the CCFA, but no concrete and the heavy drillings. First, we have to look at the soil condition again. I think for all this foundation work, the most important soil profile, the soil condition. Eight or nine meters, you hit the weather rock. 
the very hard, very stable already. So it's not required to have the case all the way down to the final depth, 24 meters. The other issue is here, they are using the PG-40, the maximum depth for 900 millimeter, I think it can only reach about 20 or 22 meters. So, how we do this secondary pile? First, again, CCFA down to 14 meters. 14 meters is, means already 5 or 6 meters into this very stable, <coughs> I will ask, you can see the hard ground already. Then, we uh, uh, unscrew the casing, take out uh, this auger, then we leave the 14 meter deep casing in the ground for protection. Then followed by calibrating until the final depth, 24 meters. During the drilling, we use another machine, BG36. Then this BG40 go to another place to pick up another casing to do another pile drilling. So, after reach 24 meter, it goes here, very stable ground, dry, in the rock, so it's the um, <coughs> dry hole drainage. Then we put in the cages, do the concreting, the normal bowl pile process. After you finish the concreting, then the BG3 come back to pick up the casing. So this is the, <coughs> this photo shows after drill down to 14 meters, and screw the casings, you can see, we <coughs> pull out its, its flight. Then another machine, BG36, come to do the drilling, carry drilling, until the final depth required 24 meters. So that's why I call it two phases. First, 40 meters, still CCFM method, but no concrete. Then followed by carry drilling using another machine. For fossil production, for this 24 meter second power, including the cage installation, community, three to four pounds per 12 hour shift. And the speed can be faster if more cases are available on site. This is the uh, uh, drilled, fractured mud uh, stone or seal stone. So, this project, excavation depth of 10 meters. So this system can give you a flat, watertight, <coughs> second power wall or not. This is the uh, excavation and all exposed second power wall. Yeah. You can, can see, I think we are quite happy to see it's very straight wall face and watertight. And here you can see this in the adjacent buildings, very close. And this is as measured to the final depth. Yeah. So it, it means this kind of combination. Of course, the method, drilling system. First, you have to consider this is the soil profile and the, and what's the capacity of the machine. Then you can have very nice second power as a retaining structure for basement excavation. So again, the way and for good pile, you need always in combination. So I think this is the first part of my presentation for this uh, storyboard pile and the, and the second pile wall, just a, a very general introduction. So uh, I'd like to have this uh, five or ten minutes uh, break. And during this break, I would like to show you one uh, latest project has been done in Macau Bridge, an offshore project. And if you are interested, you can have a look. Projects are done by uh, our uh, brother or sister company, uh, Bao Construction. Yeah, so I think we have uh, about a 10 minutes break. Thank you.
This project uh, pile diameter is 2.3 uh, and 2.5 meter diameter. Thank you. 